Hello, this is Zenotech Perfect, and in this video, we are going to talk about Mini Tool Partition Wizard 12.3, and we're gonna see the features and the update and the pricing and the and the comparison of the versions and also the editions. So uh, stick with me until the end to see uh, all the informations you need, and. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description for more information about that. So let's get started. Okay, so we start this. We start with the features. So we have here the basic features and the advanced features. Here is the advanced fe features. So let's start with the basic features. Here we have some basic features like uh, create and delete format partition like this. There's uh, this format, and there's delete, and there's move, I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can create a new partition. There's here, it should be here somewhere, but you need some free space down there in your uh, disk to create a new, a new partition. Anyways, this is the first basic feature. The other basic feature is to move or resize the partition let's see so for example you can just click on uh, partition C and you can move and resize so you can see there's some space left here yeah as you can see this uh, this blue dark means the used one and this this blue soft uh, color is uh, the not used space so you can resize until here and you can also move this means you you can uh, make a partition smaller and uh, make a new one you can also copy the disk or the partition so for example uh, let's say this disk e is empty not like this one this empty and you have this disk c is full you probably want to format your disk C someday so you can also do this do this feature called copy this means you copy all the content in disk C to disk E for example so you keep all your files without losing any data so when you click this and this probably requires the pro version so make sure to get one uh, yeah, you can here click the disk you want to yeah the destination and it tells you that you should have an empty space uh, or it's called an unallocated space that's what uh, your disk sh should have anyways the other feature is wipe disk bar wipe disk or partition so it's basically erasing and you can find it where is it here is it wipe partition so as you can see there's a warning here it tells you this this is this partition is system partition and wiping system partition might cause your computer to be unbootable yeah it's basically it if you if you do this uh, you're gonna have to know what you are doing and not wipe your your disk immediately just if you need for example i can wipe now the disk e but i have some important uh, important files that i have to keep there anyways that's one and the other basic feature is merge or split partition and this is this one is my favorite and it can be found found in pro version or or up so for example we go here to disk, disk c and click merge you can you can have a uh, one disk a one part partition using both disk for example c and e yep c and e so C and E will become C with this capacity. Uh, it will have uh, 456 means it will collect this disk with this disk. It's uh, kind of good for many reasons. 
and uh, yeah, maybe in the future I'm gonna talk about it. Anyways, this uh, the basic feature merge. And this is disk or partition check. Here it says cover all the disk partition checking features you can find from free edition like file and system check, disk surface test, view disk property. It's basically good to check if your uh, disk is healthy or unhealthy. So, so it's uh, really really good helpful for for some corrupted disk. Anyways. This is the basic features. Now we move on to the advanced features. And uh, as you can see here, uh, migrate AOS to SSD or HDD for better computer performance or migrate OS to a larger hard drive to save more files. So yeah, this feature is really interesting and uh, it's basically in the pro version. All the advanced features are in the pro version and this is some advanced features and this convert disk partition so basically i have my disk partition is ntfc and you can you can convert it convert ntfc to fat which uh, there's some there's some uh, details i have to talk about in another video maybe so let me know in the comment section if you want me to talk about it. Anyways, this perform data recovery. This is the most important one and the most wanted one by many users, many computer users. So maybe you want to get back your older files or, or maybe you want to be curious about what a computer had in its disk. If you bought it from someone, but I don't suggest that. If you buy the disk from someone and uh, try to do data recovery, and maybe he have uh, some personal files, which you don't have to see. So yeah, I don't suggest that. But data recovery is useful for many reasons, for ma many reasons. And so we don't have to worry if your disk is corrupted or formatted or anything but this feature is only available on pro version and more and as you can see it's gonna take a lot of time but it's really efficient yeah you can do data recovery in any of your disks anyways this is recover lost partition uh -huh. This also in the pro version and uh, find yeah it's really good if you lose your partition uh -huh, yeah uh, there is here some uh, if you see I have one disk I have one uh, HDD in my computer in the future I will add more and we can do more testing so we, as you can see this is the feature called partition recovery so you can see here full disk so you can recover your deleted partitions which is really important for many reasons like yeah corrupted and you format your partition then you can recover it easily uh, using this and uh, dynamic disk management here it says reliable dynamic disk manager to convert dynamic disks to basic extend C drive space in dynamic and create delete format copy dynamic file volumes. It's a dynamic disk management. So it's basically many features to manage your disk. And this one is WIMP bootable media. It's good to fix your booting device if there's any problem there's there's bootable media section which is uh, in the pro version too you, you can create bootable cd dvd so it's really useful if you want to make a bootable uh, bootable, bootable operation system in usb or iso uh, like cd and dvds and else and this is all the features that I've showed you so far. Now let's move on to 
the updates so here we have some interesting update 12.3 uh, they added Portuguese uh, language so people with per Portuguese reading and speaking can uh, understand and use the application better now. So, yeah. And the second feature is recover data from desktop recycle bin and specific folder. So, maybe it wasn't used to be like that. Maybe you, you didn't uh, be able to uh, recover the files from the cycle pin and some other devices. Maybe phone, I don't know. But maybe can maybe this app work um, uh, work on recovering your uh, phone da phone da data. But I'm gonna test this in the future. I'm not sure about it 100%. So yeah. And this is another feature called fully support XFAT partitions in data recovery. So yeah, it uh, it wasn't used to be, um, it wasn't uh, doing data recovery in XFAT, XFAT uh, partitions, and now it does. So it's interesting um, news for those who have uh, XFAT partitions. And the last one, of course, bug fixes because there's always bugs in the applications and it should be fixed always. So this is the interesting features. It's 12.3 and I really like it, <laughs> especially if I was particular, particular, anyways. <laughs> now we move on to the comparison. Anyways, if you want to see this page, uh, I leave the, the link in the description. It's called Update History here after. Just copy and paste the link in the description. I will put it. And this is also a link if you want to check the comparison. There's many th uh, things to see here in details. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Pro and Pro Deluxe. So Pro Deluxe have the most have the most features if you get the pro deluxe so make sure and it's annual subscription and as you can see it have the most features and if you want to have a lifetime license you have to buy pro ultimate there's just one notice for those who use windows server from 23 to 2019 or all ad editions you need the, the edition server or enterprise or technician so server plus server or more so that's it so as you can see for pro version we have one license for one device and one year free upgrade so as you can see it's for one year and the pro deluxe annual subscription to one year free upgrade and one license for one device and yeah so for pro ultimate lifetime free upgrade which really interesting and very favorable for many people and secondly license type one license for three devices which is good and uh, it can it can be good for if you have family maybe you can give it to your family so for server it's one license for one device because one computer can control all the servers so it makes sense it's good for server edition and for enterprise if you are an agency if you run an agency you have a lot of computers you can use uh, the one license for 99 device within one company and uh, yeah uh, you have to contact the developers for that to, to be specific and for technician I don't know technicians need a lot of uh, they use a lot of computers for testing purpose maybe but they use a lot so that's why one license for 299 devices anywhere so anywhere you can use it anywhere you want and it is one license anyways the pricing now so it's free this one is free but it doesn't have the most features i've talked about today and uh, the pro edition is 59 dollars and uh, the pro deluxe is 99 
dollar and pro ultimate is 129 i suggest pro deluxe mostly is the most uh, interesting um, offer and uh, i suggest it i hi highly suggest it and for server it's 295 for enterprise uh, 499 and for technician 699 so yeah you can pick uh, any of those any that suits you so pick the one that you think is the best for you anyways for taxi port you can see the server plus you get a phone phone support which is really fast so this is interesting for uh, the server and enterprise for more advanced workers so that's it for today please check the link in the first line of the description for more informations and i'll see you in the next videos